Welcome back to Layers of Fear. Now, we've just got our lovely skin canvas, and we're about to plant it on... Wait, there's already canvas there. How does that work? Either way, we are on the adventures of the bonkers painter, as you can see by this. And he's a bit... He's, he's a wobbly lad, all things considered. Hate even now. Lost. You deserve it. Finish it. Okay. So we're going to plunk this on and see how the painting evolves. Hmm. Not on board with this. Oh, flamingos. Nice. <laughs> we must just leave it there. It's the, the painting of the blood flamingos. Copyright. Mad Painter. Uh, 2017. Oh, that's just what we had before, wasn't it? Yeah. Well... I'm not sure how flamingos are supposed to change into a human being, but... Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? Yeah. What's hard is the other strokes that comes after the first few. Alright. And um, what have you changed into? Oh, we're back to the same corridor again. We already are going in circles. So are we going to get the room with the window? No. We're going to get an old-timey lift. Well, oh, she's even got a little thing to sit on. <laughs> Do we have like a, a guy who can press the button for us or whatever? So which way are we going? Oh, well we're off. Up we go. Is this going to be like fear where we go up and then there's a little girl staring at us? Yes, hello. <laughs> okay, called it. That's what you're doing, Liss. Last catch on, was that? Well, this is our stuff, I guess. Ding, 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 everyone out. I can see living in a house so big you have to get a lift to get up there. Well, I guess he has got a bum leg, so. I'll forgive him that. Nice, nice vase. Or vase. Vase. Nope. Nope. Oh. Nope. Nope. Nice candles. Can't light them. Uh, nope. What's this? Oh. Anything in here? So all these were locked. Uh, that one's now open. Oh, hi. Mr. Babyface peering at me through the door. Oof. Don't like this room. Sealed in here with a bunch of paintings looking at you. <laughs> Oh, hello. Dear sir, well, I can certainly understand that you're upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself. I must categorically state that I do, wish, do not wish to receive any further correspondence for you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe you have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me and my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand that you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who will be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, MD. Is there anything on the back? No. So, we're, the guy we're playing is a bit... He gets a bit salty pretty quick. He's shouting at the... Uh, okay, that's different. The medical specialists. And now he's shouting at the doctors. who are performing a procedure on his wife. And that is presumably his wife there. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. See? Uh, okay, she's melting a bit. Mm. <laughs> yeah. See, one thing that I kind of rallied against in Laser Fever when I wrote about it was the guy we're playing sounds a bit nuts straight from the get-go. 
It's sort of the similar problem you have with um, a film version of The Shining. Like Jack Nicholson's, well, Jack, uh, is kind of bonkers straight from the start. And that kind of not really ruins it, but makes it harder to really get into it for me. Because in the book, he's more um, like a normal guy who goes nuts uh, because of the hotel. And it's kind of creepy because of that. Whereas in this, in The Shining, he's nuts from the start, really. So you kind of expect it. You get the ending. Um, from the start, okay. This is dangerous. I guess it's just because going crazy to me is scarier than um, just craziness in general. If he's a nut job, we can just write him off as a nut job. But if we can sympathize with him, that's in a way more terrifying for me. Okay, we have baby cries. Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Um, and now we're getting into the bits I, I kind of disliked about Layers of Fear. And those fucking baby dolls are one of them, because it's just so on the nose. So, because actual warping architecture and use of paintings, I really, really like. That was the whole reason I got into this anyway, because it's... I wouldn't say it's unique, but it's cool. Make up your mind. I would if you could let me into the room. But you won't, because you're mean to me. You're mean to this poor, insane, possibly murderous painter. Oh, a mousetrap. Snap. Oh. Can't snap my toes. The rats are living in the walls. They're in the walls. They're in the walls. More mousetraps. Oh. Warning signs. The following list is a, comp a compilation of the most common signs of schizophrenia. While typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, this order is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist. Blank expression stares off into space. Yes. Voluntary facial movements. Yes. Insomnia. Haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures. Always had that. Unable to experience joy from activities. Definitely. Depersonalization. What does that even mean? Awkward, clumsy movement. Might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment. More passive-aggressive. Lack of motivation, yes. Suicidal tendencies. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to pronounce that. Question mark and exclamation mark. Together. Often called an interrobang. Uh, would have been better to use there. And uh, I believe it is generally pronounced. Mm -hmm. Hello, dear head. Nice to see you again. No trap doors this time, is there, you little bitch? Okay then. Is that Jupiter eating his son? See, that one I know, because that one I really like. I'd like to get a copy of that painting one day. That would be pretty sweet. Hey, baby, how's it going? How's life with no arms, legs, or lower body? You gotta tell me about it sometime. I'll get some light in here, please. Okay, yes. Wow. Look at this lady. Or oh, man. They're really going for it there, aren't they? Look. <laughs> That's some fucking nose. But then everyone there's a bit... Yeah. It's like a, a meeting of goblins over there. <laughs> now you throw an entire room at me, are you? You can't bring me down that easy. Oh. Okay. Got a flash of what the room looked like. Oh, a safe. Uh, hmm. Is there a code for this safe anywhere? Yes, there is. 729. <laughs> That's convenient. Don't remember ever opening this before. Seven. Two. Nine. I'll do it next. Mm. Seven. It's usually like this, isn't it? Two. There we go. I can't say I've ever used a safe with a lock like that before, so. Oh, key. And turn around, anything here? No. I was half expecting the room to be, like, built back together or something. Hey, Jupiter. 
Ska vi kunna här? Okej. Okay. Jag har Where's this key go then? Hmm. Does it go in here? Yes. We got some whispering, which usually means we come out something. Let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing, I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly braved by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well, but how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? Worst thing is, I can swear I smelled liquor on his breath. God, please, not this. Again. Okay. <laughs> so, his wife is... has been in an accident. He's trying to recover. I assume she was a uh, piano player in the, uh, before the whatever accident. Okay, Mr. Two-Face. And she's trying to get back to it. And the husband's not being... Well, he's being supportive, but he's also being self-destructive. Which is going to end badly. Oh. I thought that might be a number or something then, but I think it's just random rope. Yeah. I, I, I always keep my rope drawer well stocked. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, we've got a nice fruit selection here. Always good to see that. Okay. Undone. It cannot be undone. It cannot be undone. It cannot be undone. Okay, so everything's backwards. And there's a mirror to the other room there. If I spin the globe, does it spin in the mirror? Ooh. Wherever it lands is where we'll go. Even if it's deep into the ocean. The globe has spoken. We must drown. And no, it does not. So this isn't quite a mirror, I guess. Okay. And that globe is still spinning. Now it's a mirror. But that... Mm. I don't really remember it looking like that, to be honest with you. <laughs> Matches. Okay. No, oh, we'll get you spinning. <laughs> doggy. Okay, the doggy. That's not a happy doggy. Two doggies. Oh. Now that's a very. It's a medium rare doggy right now. Hmm. Poor doggy. Good boy. Honey, remember how you said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Maybe she just. I. Mm. <laughs> I'd be a little confused if someone did that. I wanted the cat, get a dog. Whatever. I guess if you're a dog person, you're a dog person. Wheelchair. I guess that's symbolic of his wife. Who had her accent? Yo. Oh. Hello, I've been spooked by a bloody wheelchair, am I? You can jog on, mate. Roll on, whatever the fuck. Oh, that was quick. Got our vase again. Vase. Nope. Hmm. This one's a bit faded. Nope. Hello, sir. And you. Your big old lips there. Your face is falling off. Nice. It's always terrible when that happens. Remember to... Hi. Um. Fuck off. Oh, hello. Hello again. I already told you to fuck off once. Here you go. Okay. 
Now we're getting into bits I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember this bit at all. I played through the early access release and I have played through the full game, but it's been a while. So the rat came from over here, didn't it? Fuck, the wheels of the bloody wheelchair that sunk into the ground. Okay then. All doors lead to this corridor. And your fan's broken. Nice. <laughs> oh. Who's lobbing things? Why are you so insistent on throwing things at me, you stupid house? Hello, at least you don't look warped and horrible. I'm sure you're, you're, you're a nice bloke, aren't you? You're, you're one of the good ones. No, no dice there. Anything in the cupboards? Oh, hello, you're a jar now, are you? You're still not warped. <laughs> oh, okay. No need to be like that. I was coming in anyway. I'll close you up. Some light on the proceedings. It's better. There's a key, but I'm going to grab that after I check out everywhere else. There we go. Found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but god damn it, you should know better. There's a small child in the house. That's just irresponsible. Yeah, I can't help but agree. Oh, okay. No, you don't. Yeah, okay, yes, you do. Okay, so I'll crouch back in this. No. Well, I'm gonna hide in the corner anyway. Ugh. Got a bit of damp going on. I mean, I'm not, I'm not answering. There's no one here. Yeah, that's right. Jog on. The damp's receding. Yeah. I got your key. What are you going to do about it? Okay, he looks like he's gone. It. Okay, nice wedding photo with their faces scratched down. That's always good. Secret bottle. <laughs> uh, is that all the drawers here and I can't look at anything else on this desk? No. There's just bottles everywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, someone's oozed. Oh, you're, oh, did you come out of the fucking painting or something? Okay, now you've warped. Okay. Oh. Okay. Well, I thought you were my friend, but you've kind of mm, changed a bit. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, but those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. <laughs> How romantic. So, something came from here maybe and oozed into that painting. <laughs> well, not telling me the first step is always the hardest anymore. Unleash your inner beauty with new Glamour Fusion Max. Say farewell to acne scars and large pores and other pleasant skin conditions. The new Glamour Fusion Max can see look at your skin and healthier looking and a smoother feel. Don't think of it as covering up deficiencies. Think of it as unleashing your inner beauty. So is that his wife? That was on there, or is that him desperately trying to find something to improve his wife? Or her, trying to prove it herself for her husband. Either way, it's not a happy time. I'm not on board with either one of them. That's a creepy photo, uh, painting that I kind of want a copy of. Because it's actually quite cool and creepy. Gramophone! Oh, there's some whispering going on. Is it in the one with all the bottles? Looks like it might well be. Oh. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? 
Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> so she was quite the, uh... What's it called? Is it virtuoso? If you're like... Good with, uh... Um... Instruments and stuff. Because she's good on the piano and she's good on the violin, apparently, so... She obviously knew her way around some instruments. Which is impressive. It's like a... It's a house of creatives. Or, I don't know, is... Is playing an instrument a creative if someone else writes the music? Which might write our own. Who knows? Anyway, enough rambling. It's time to end this part here. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like my content, please do check out my other videos. And if you do, I will see you there. Goodbye.